Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and the first question is which of the following statements is most likely to be true of non-polar R groups in aqueous solution? And of course the question is about amino acids. Take a look at this picture and you see here polar liquid which is water and non-polar liquid which is can be oil. You see that oil and water doesn't mix because they have substantially different properties, non-polar and polar. Water can be a solvent for also polar liquids and compounds and oil also can be a solvent for non-polar liquids and compounds. Let's say this is polypeptide chain. Usually we can find it in the form of globular protein which is water soluble and inside we are going to find amino acids that is polar. So they avoid water environment and on the outside we will find those amino acids that is polar and would be attracted by water which is also polar liquid. So here is a simplified structure of the globular protein. Now let's check the answers. So now we know that the answer have to be, so one more time, which of the following statements is most likely to be true of non-polar R groups in aqueous solution. Aqueous solution is polar and non-polar R groups would be hydrophobic and we will find in within protein. So the first statement hydrophilic wrong and second statement hydrophilic also wrong. Third statement they are hydrophobic and found within proteins. So this is going to be a correct statement. And next question, phenylalanine, tyrosine and tryptophan are all compounds and you have to choose one of these answers. As long as you see such hexagon in amino acid, you know that this is aromatic amino acid. So answer D. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.